Today we will discuss conditional and converse statements. Through this discussion, you will learn to identify and explain conditional statements, create your own conditional statements, exchange the hypothesis and conclusion of a conditional statement, and use a method to produce and test the converse of a conditional statement. Let's begin. You may know the word converse for a verb meaning to chat, or for a noun as a particular brand of footwear. Neither of those is how mathematicians use converse. Converse and inverse are connected concepts in making conditional statements. To create the converse of a conditional statement, switch the hypothesis and conclusion. To create the inverse of a conditional statement, turn both hypothesis and conclusion to the negative. Here is an example. If I eat a pint of ice cream, then I will gain weight. This is the conditional statement. If I gained weight, then I ate a pint of ice cream. This is the converse of the conditional statement. If I do not eat a pint of ice cream, then I will not gain weight. This is the inverse of the conditional statement. Conditional statements set up conditions that could be true or false. These conditions lead to a result that may or may not be true. Conditional statements start with a hypothesis and end with a conclusion. Here are two examples of conditional statements. If a polygon has exactly four sides, then it is a quadrilateral. If triangles are congruent, then they have equal corresponding angles. You can always test the hypothesis. Does the polygon have four sides? Are the triangles congruent? If the hypothesis is false, the conclusion is false. Here are two examples of conditional statements with false hypotheses. If I am 9 meters tall, then I can play basketball. If a square has three sides, then its interior angles add to 180 degrees. You can test the hypothesis immediately. Are you 9 meters tall? Do squares have three sides? These conditional statements result in false conclusions because they started with false hypotheses. Conditional statements begin with if to introduce the hypothesis. The hypothesis is the part that sets up the condition leading to a conclusion. The conclusion begins with then, like this. If my dog barks, then my dog observed something that excited him. You will see conditional statements in geometry all the time. You can set up your own conditional statements too. Here is one for an isosceles triangle. If the triangle is isosceles, then only two of its sides are equal in length. You can switch the hypothesis and conclusion of a conditional statement. You just take the conclusion and make it the beginning, and take the hypothesis and make it the end. If the triangle only has two sides that are equal in length, then it is an isosceles triangle. The converse of a true conditional statement does not automatically produce another true statement. It might create a true statement, or it could create Nonsense. If a polygon is a square, then it is also a quadrilateral. That statement is true, but the converse of that is nonsense. If a polygon is a quadrilateral, then it is also a square. We know this is untrue because plenty of quadrilaterals exist that are not squares. Many times in geometry we see postulates, statements that are assumed to be true, and theorems. Statements able to be proved that seem like they could become conditional statements and converse conditional statements. Parallel lines never meet. Postulate. If two lines are parallel, then they are lines that never meet. Conditional statement. If two lines never meet, then they are parallel. Converse. Example number two. Adjacent angles share a common side. Postulate. If angles share a common side, then they are adjacent. Conditional statement. If angles are adjacent, then they share a common side. Converse. Some postulates are even written as conditional statements. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent. If two points lie in a plane, then the line joining them lies in that plane. Congratulations! You now understand conditional statements and the converse and inverse of those statements. 
You also know how to determine which statements are true and false.